thinking you found love and truly knowing love, look, they're not the same thing. It's lies versus life. True love is not anti-discernment or putting your head in the sand. You can't substitute a designer version of love for the reality of love. That's just living a lie. People who fall for that often end up hurting other people just to get payback for their hurts. You don't wanna live like that because that's not life. We've already learned that Jesus is the truth and he is the light. Now God's word is gonna show us this in part three of life, that he is love. So let's just review for a second here. Let me bring you up to date. In the first two parts of this series called Life, we zeroed in on the identity of truth and the identity of light, essential to life. In the first parts, we heard the true story of a precious young woman living on the streets, working for a drug habit. A few older Christian ladies prayed with her and she was miraculously delivered from addictions. But then in her sober state, realized how destroyed and wrecked her life was. She was free from the addiction, but she needed to be filled with life. When she received Jesus, she received truth, light, and what we're about to focus in on in this segment, love. That young woman wasn't truly ready for life until she was filled with love. So let's explore this facet of life, part three, and talk about the identity of love because love ain't a thing. No, no, true love is a person. I've seen, you know, we all seen these posters that come up about love. And I saw this poster one time that said, love is telling someone that his zipper is open or her, her wig looks too fake. I don't know about you, but I, I kind of have higher expectations for love. So I've got good news for you today. Good news! 1 John 4 verse 8, listen to this. God is love. God doesn't just love, but He is love. Some marriage counselors, I've heard them say that love is a decision. And to a point, I agree. God says that what you believe is your choice and your choices are the sum of your life. Do you choose God? Then your choice is for truth, light, and yes, love. Well, what is love? I once read that love is when a husband protects his wife from the desire to get bangs, <laughs> which might be true. I remember one time when Pam and I were courting, when we were dating, she was watching these Audrey Hepburn movies and I, I showed up to pick her up and she walked out and she had these little pixie bangs that she had cut herself and, and I didn't know that and I was like, Oh dear, I said, Pam, what, what happened to your hair? She was like, oh, you, you, you don't like it? It was kind of a funny exchange, but yes, husbands, you have to protect your wives from bangs. That could be love. What is love? You know, the, the Bible, the first mention of love in the Bible is when Abraham expresses his love for his son, Isaac. That's Genesis 22, verse two. Love is the ultimate context to life. It's the ultimate context to live in. Love is the family identity and the address. Like truth and light, love is God's identity and love is powerful. Life altering, unfailing, eternal. We've allowed society, even contemporary Christian culture, to damage and demote the worldview of true love. It's not a feeling. It's not a phase and it's not an experience. This is why too many people are bound by fear and torment. The problem with a forgery kind of love is you cannot build a life with such a corrupt building material. Every decision, every choice is wrong because the material is fake. You wake up one day blaming love for this crazy weak building you call life, but you chose to use toxic materials, a counterfeit kind of love. But today's a new day. Say that out loud. Say, today is a new day that the Lord has made and I'm choosing God's love. So let me help you do that. The Hebrew meaning for the word love, the word picture that we get for love in the Hebrew is this. It's an open door to the strength or the origin of the house, the family identity. It's an open door to the father's heart. It's inside access to all the benefits and blessings of the father's heart. That's love. 